Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season. I know that I did not post any videos uh, recently. It's been a little bit longer than usual. That is because I have not been flying. Um, they, I didn't get called in December. I got called that one turn that I did my video on, my last video on. That's the only time I flew in December. Like I sat on call the entire month and I got used for two standbys and that one turn and that was it. Which I was shocked. I thought I was gonna be flying all of Christmas cause I'm still pretty junior, but we just had a bunch of new hires come in. And so I guess they were all the ones that had to work Christmas. But my company had also done an incentive. And so they were paying people 300% for their trips if they didn't call out from November 15th to January 2nd, I believe, which is today. So a lot of people just weren't calling out either. So I didn't have to work Christmas. So I had a great Christmas because <laughs> I was expecting to be somewhere not home with family. So that was good. It's raining here, which is why I've got my hood on and everything. I'm letting Ozzy go potty, but it's 6.15. Um, my sign-in is at 9.53. I'm still giving myself like close to three hours to get to the airport just in case something crazy happens with traffic. It is a Sunday today, so I think I'll be fine, but you just never know. So I'm just playing it safe for now. I don't want to get any late points right now while I'm still so new to the base, but I'm going to go inside, make some coffee, finish up packing the last few things, and then head on my way to Charlotte. One of my sisters got me a cold brew maker for Christmas and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm making my cold brew to take on the road with me before I leave. All right, sit. Good boy, you want a bone? Okay, I'll see you in a couple days, Oz. Love you. <laughs> All right, I made it to the employee parking garage. I have about an hour till my sign in. If you guys watched my last video, then you know that I was like not parking in the right spot. <laughs> So we got all that worked out. Clearly I'm in the garage, but it turns out that where I was parking used to be where we parked. And then when the pandemic happened and nobody was using this garage because people weren't flying, they let us and the pilots start parking here. And I think it's just going to stay this way, which is super nice because this is like a garage and it's just like my airlines pilots and um, flight attendants. So there's not nearly as many people trying to get on and off the bus at the same time. Like where I had been parking was for everybody, like all airlines um, and like TSA agents and gate agents, like everybody was parking in that lot. So the shuttle that would take us to and from the airport was always really full. So this is a lot better. But let's go get into the airport. I'll probably go ahead and check in and then I'll probably go to the crew room and get some stuff organized before I head to the gate. But let's get it. We're doing a three day today or starting a three day. We have three legs today. I think we do a San Antonio turn out of here and then go to Miami. But... I'll have to double check that. Before I head up to the gate, I'm gonna eat a little snack and then get my tablet turned on and updated and ready to go for the trip. Okay, I have some lemon pepper chicken that I made the other day and some green beans. I heat it up in our oven for lunch. Catering gave us the wrong napkins, so I guess we'll just confuse all of our passengers today. <laughs> we just landed in San Antonio. 
It's really windy here, so we had a pretty bumpy landing. So I came out on the deck bridge just to get some air. I was starting to get kind of nauseous in the back with all the bumps. But we're about to do leg number two. Then we have a sit in Charlotte, and then we will go to Miami. Was that here this morning? It was. I'm wondering when they're going to take it down. All right, two down, one to go, last flight. And this is gonna be our longest day of the trip, so I'm glad we're getting it done early. This one's got the screens, but right now there's no volume, so we're trying to figure out what's going on with that. Because we don't wanna do the demo for a third time today. But if the volume doesn't work, we'll have to. Miami still has their Christmas stuff up. All right, guys, we just got to the hotel in Miami. What a long day. <laughs> that was three legs is a lot. And then we had a two hour sit in between our turn and then our flight to Miami. And then Miami, that flight is usually probably like, I don't know, like an hour and a half maybe. And it was longer today. It was almost two hours because we had to fly like out and then go down because of all the weather that was going on in Charlotte, which every single one of our flights had like crazy amounts of bumps, like either on the takeoff or on the landing. Like our first two flights, it was on like both the takeoff and the landing was really crazy bumpy. And then for Miami, it was pretty bad getting out of Charlotte, but once we were far enough out and started to turn down, it was okay. But then we landed in Miami and Something must have been going on here today because the customer service line was ridiculous. So we land and our gate is occupied and I guess it must have been like super delayed because we weren't getting on that gate. So then we had to find a new one and it took like 20 minutes and then all these people were coming up to me asking about connections because they only had a certain amount of time and it was crazy. But I made an announcement and just listen to how there are still really kind people out in the world, okay? So I made an announcement and I was like, these people are going to this city and these people are going to this city. There's literally five passengers. And I was like, please let them get off the plane first because they have maybe 10 minutes to get to their gate before their plane will leave. And every single person sat down until they got off. And I was like very shocked because normally you make that announcement and like, People are just like, nah, I'm gonna get off the plane. So, and I really didn't think in Miami of all places that it would happen, but they uh, they gained some of my, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I'll think of it tomorrow. But anyways, it's like almost 11 with after that delay and then having to get out of air, the airport and the drive work. So we have a 19, well, it was 19 hours. Now it's like 18 something. So we had a good bit of a drive. I think it was like 30 minutes to get here. So we're close to the beach. So I'm gonna go to the beach tomorrow, but I am tired. So I'm about to shower, do my devotion, which is one of my new year's goals, resolutions, whatever. I wanna read the Bible every single day. So I restarted that daily recap thing cause I had gotten really behind. So I started over, so I'm on day two and I'm gonna try to stick with it this time. So I'm gonna take a shower, do that, and then go to bed so that I can get up and hopefully go to the gym tomorrow before I go to the beach. So yeah, good night guys. Day one is done. It's gonna be the hardest day of the whole trip. Tomorrow we only do one leg, which is really nice. So, and then the next day we work one leg and then deadhead the next as of right now, but they may pull us to work it. So yeah, but I need to get some rest. So I'm gonna stop talking. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow for day two. All right guys, it is day two. I slept until about 9.15 ish. I had my alarm set for 10. That was the latest I wanted to sleep in, but I woke up before it. 
So, also, I remembered what I was trying to say last night when I was talking about the kindness of people. I was trying to say it had it was restoring my uh, faith in humanity. <laughs> and that's the right phrase, right? But I like, could not think of that. And then, of course, like this morning, I woke up and was like, that's what I was trying to say. Anyways, um, I'm about to go. I have to go to the third floor because... I need to get ice and that's the only place that has it so I'm gonna go grab some ice um, drink a little bit of coffee and eat like a breakfast bar and then I think I'm gonna work out for a little bit before I head to the beach my plan was to go to the beach like around 1231 it's supposed to rain at 1 but I feel like in Florida it like rains for a minute and then stops so I should be fine um, but if not, I'll just go at 2 because it's supposed to be nice at 2 again. <laughs> um, our van time is not until 4.15, so, yeah, I've got plenty of time to make it out there. But I'm going to go grab that ice really quick and get my layover started before we fly later today. Alright, so while I drink my coffee and eat my little bar, which this is a new one. It looked interesting in the grocery store, which is why I bought it. <laughs> so hopefully I like it. Um, but while I do that, I'm going to watch, I've got my um, church service from yesterday pulled up. So I'm gonna watch that um, before I start my day, just to get my mind in the right place. We are doing a series like going through the book of Luke, I guess. And it's gonna last for like, I think five months or something. It's really long. So, if you guys want to do that with me <laughs> every Sunday, then the next three Sundays, I'll be the one directing, like, this, the online part. So, if you guys want to watch that on Sundays, it's First Baptist Simpsonville Upstate. And we stream online at 9.50 for more, um, like, contemporary, and then the 11.10 is the modern. But I'm gonna watch that and then get a little workout in and then go to the beach. We made it to the beach. It's overcast right now, but it's supposed to be like that for the rest of the day. So we came out here anyways. And it's raining. I've been out here for like 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna wait it out and see if it goes away quick. I just got out here so it only ended up raining for about like five minutes like I'm not even joking to you like I sat I was like I'm gonna break through the rain sat out there and then five minutes later the Sun was blazing so I sat out there for like three hours probably it's two o'clock now so I'm gonna take a shower and then go down and heat up some food for lunch and then get ready to catch the van um, we go to New Orleans tonight. Did I say that already? It's a short layover, so I'm not sure if I'm going to actually do anything tonight when we get there, but we'll see. I may try to get some Cajun food from somewhere just because I feel like you have to do that when you're there. But yeah, let me go get in the shower, get the sand off of me. I love the beach, but like once I come back inside, I'm like, all right, that was fun, but now I need to get this off. <laughs> so I'm going to do that and then figure out what I want to eat for lunch. All right, here's day two lunch, some chicken noodle soup and orange cream trail mix. This stuff is incredible. So I ended up just getting some empanadas because our hotel is not close to anything in New Orleans, so I'm not gonna get food there. So yummy. All right guys, we just got to New Orleans. I'll show you guys my uniform really quick before I take it off and then I'll let you guys know about our day. So here is my uniform today. I wore nude tights for the first time in like months because it's been cold overall but since I was in Miami today I knew I would be burning up so I was like nude tights. I have the short sleeve dress on. I put the sweater on though because it's cold here but not like super cold but you know. But anyways we just got to the hotel. Here is my view of the pool. That needs to be cleaned. But 
today was super easy. Um, just the one leg. We were a little bit delayed going out of Miami because our plane had come from the Dominican Republic and so it had to go through extra security checks and then it took the cleaners a little while to, I guess it seemed like it was longer than normal for them to clean the plane. So we had to delay boarding by like 10 minutes. So we ended up leaving like 15 minutes late. And then we made up time in the air, but then we landed and had to sit at the gate for like 20 minutes waiting for an agent to come um, move the jet bridge to open the door. Um, I guess they were saying like New Orleans is really short staffed right now with gate agents. So the one that came to our gate had to run from like another gate just to get to our um, gate. So yeah, but we also catering was a mess. Um, Miami's been having issues with catering and our caterer basically told us that they are also short staffed. And so some flights they're like picking and choosing and like some flights are being modified catering, which means that they leave all the stuff from the last flight and they just put in one new cart, which sometimes would be okay, but like we didn't have any ginger ale, we didn't have any club soda. <laughs> like we were just out of everything because the other flight had used all of theirs and then the cart that we had didn't have any of that stuff on it. So that was fun, but our layover was originally like 11 hours and 50 minutes. Like it was close to 12, but now that we got delayed, I think it's probably closer to like 11 and a half. So I'm not gonna be doing anything extravagant. I'll probably either watch TV or just do something on my iPad for like the next hour or so before I get ready for bed, I'll do my devotion and yeah, so not as fun as my Miami layover, but that's okay. At least I got to do like something on this trip and I wasn't just in the hotel the whole time. Okay, so while I wash my face, I was going to show you this. These um, er erase your face um, washcloths or whatever. So I put those on my Christmas list because I was like, these sound really cool and I don't want to spend my own money on them. So... My sister got me these for Christmas, but you basically just put water on this thing and it takes up your makeup or <laughs> takes off your makeup. So I'm going to show you. So I have makeup on and then I just put, I put a little bit more, a little bit of water on it and then just wipe. And it's gone. Isn't that crazy? So this is great for travel because you don't have to worry about packing makeup remover or makeup wipes or makeup pad things to put makeup remover on. You can literally just throw this in your suitcase. So if you're tired of makeup remover, I would highly suggest this. It comes in a pack of four and then you can just wash them in the, um, in the washing machine. This is not an ad, I just really love these things. <laughs> All right guys, it is day three, go home day. It's 6.30 this morning and for some reason I just cannot wake up. So I'm gonna have my coffee. I was gonna wait till we got on the plane but I'm like desperate right now. I walked like a mile to go get ice from the ice machine. It was so far away from my room. And I was like having to take all these turns like I almost got lost on the way back. But it's still, the sun is in the process of coming up. So I feel like once the sun is up, I'll be okay. But because it's so dark, I'm just like, I need to be in bed. But we just work one leg today and then we deadhead on the last leg. We've been flying on the baby bus, which is like the small plane. And, but we're deadheading on a triple seven, which is a wide body. So that's gonna feel so huge compared to our tiny little plane, but I'll show you guys our plane and then when we deadhead, I'll show you like the difference. <laughs> you guys, look at the skyline this morning. 
It's so pretty. I got randomly selected to go through regular security today. That hasn't happened to me in a long time. So I felt like that kid that like holds the lineup because I have no idea what they're doing. Cause I'm like, do I need to take this out of my bag? Like, do I need to like, what do I do? <laughs> Cause I don't ever go through security. So that was fun, but about to start our one leg. I'll show you the baby bus really quick. It's just small with only eight seats in first class so that you guys can see the difference between how small this plane is compared to like the triple seven that we're gonna deadhead on will could like swallow this plane whole. Like it's so huge compared to this. So here's a little first class with eight seats. Sometimes there's 12 and then here's the main cabin that only goes back 27 rows. Here's our flight load for this flight. This is the first one we've had all trip that's not like slam packed full. So that'll be nice, a little break in the back. Okay, so I completely forgot to take a video of the plane before people started boarding, but I got upgraded to first class for the deadhead. So here's my nice little pod and the seats on this plane can recline all the way back. So like these little things go all the way up and that goes all the way back to lay completely flat. I just got to my car. I'm like catching my breath because it's so cold outside. I was not expecting it to be cold. I mean, it's not like super cold, it's like 45 degrees, but compared to the Miami weather I was in yesterday, it's really cold. Um, I'm about to make the drive back home. I need to get gas. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get it at the nearest gas station so that I don't have to stop anymore after that. And then I'll be off for uh, five days, I think. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to substitute teach a little bit on my days off this week to make a little extra money, but that was like my first like real Charlotte trip, I'm going to say, cause I did that turn, but it was like, we worked one leg in deadhead. So I didn't really get to meet anybody on the crew very much and like didn't lay over with anybody. So this I'm going to count as like my first real Charlotte trip. And it went really well. Um, I got along with the crew really well. Um, even hung out with like one of my crewmates in Miami. So that was fun when like she went to the beach with me. Um, and so it was good cause I was really unsure how it was gonna go. Cause I knew in Philly like crews are usually pretty chill and everything's good. And so it went really well in Charlotte. So that was good, but that is all that I'm going to do for this video. Like I said, I'm going to be off for the next five days and then I'm going to be working for six days straight. I have two, three days back to back. So I'll probably vlog one of those. I'm not sure yet which one, but, um, oh, one other thing before I end the video. Um, well, I guess two things. So the mask update, I don't think I've told you about this, but it got, or the mask mandate, not update. It got extended until March now. It was supposed to go away starting in January. They extended it till March. So we'll be wearing masks for at least three more months. I'm assuming we'll wear them longer than that, but we'll see. Um, and then the other thing is my uh, vaccine exemption got approved. So that is a huge relief and a huge weight off my shoulders because I was not looking forward to job searching. And I had ultimately decided if it wasn't going to get approved, like that I was just going to find another job. Um, I never felt comfortable about the idea of getting vaccinated. And some of you guys might think I'm crazy for that, but I just was praying about it a lot and felt like God was telling me not to get it. So I put in my exemption and it got approved. So that was an answered prayer. Um, and so now I'm just waiting to hear what extra accommodations I'm going to have to do since I'm not vaccinated. Like, obviously I'm not going to be able to fly anywhere where they're requir requiring vaccinations to get in. And then I'm sure like once the mask mandate goes away, I'll probably still have to wear a mask. And like right now, if we have to be out because of um, COVID, we don't get paid. 
so like things like that are probably going to be what I have to do but I would I'm t like I'm fine with that so anyways so that's exciting news for me some of you guys might not like that but I just I never had peace with getting the vaccine so I'm really glad that the company felt I deserved in approval on my exemption request so that's all I've got for this video guys and I will see you in the next one as always any questions or comments feel free to put them down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video bye